day in my life video. Uh, I am Georgia K. I'm a first year history PhD student at Brown University and I make these like day in my life, weeks in my life to share my experience as a PhD student and all that. So if you're interested, you can consider subscribing. But today is going to be a busy one. Today is Tuesday and I have two classes. So that's my fullest day is that I have two classes and a lot of work to do. So I'll be taking guys along for the day. <laughs> Harley something she's snacking back there uh, I had a great class it was nice we we're talking about social media and how AI is gonna change the way that we think about public humanities which is really fascinating and I, if you don't know I love public humanities love public history and so my digital humanities class has been really really fun really really interesting I've had a great time in that class and it's usually the first class that I have for the week so now I am doing some reading. I'm gonna do some annotations for this reading. Uh, I don't have class today actually. So I'll just be doing annotations for the reading and sending it in. And we'll see if I can get some other stuff done. I have a prospectus due for my summer research. And I also have a few pages due for my independent study. So there's a lot to do and all of this is due today and tomorrow. So I'll try to get it done. But yeah, also we'll talk to you guys in a little bit about basically what it's like to study AFAM history at Brown and sort of like what I'm learning, what I'm thinking about and just the experience of it basically. So this is what I'm reading right now. I have a few pages of this to take some notes on to submit for my Africana class and that's the assignment that I have to do and then I'll move on to some of my other projects. <laughs> for my Africana class. Uh, essentially what we're reading for this class is about monuments to slavery in the Caribbean. And it's actually really fascinating. It's talking about sort of like the controversy around like Jamaican monuments and stuff like that. And I will say I really, really enjoy my Africana classes. I take mostly Africana classes because I do African American history. And to be honest, we don't have that many courses for Afam history in the actual history department, even though that's what I'm getting my PhD in. And so I spend a lot of time in the Africana department at Brown and I actually really enjoy it. It's a really, really good department. It's really small. Professors care a lot. Like I love the professors. They're so passionate about what they do. And to be honest, like as a black woman in history who studies African American history, like I'm usually one of like maybe two black people in like any space that I'm in, especially at Brown. Um, and in the AFAM department, it's one of the few spaces where I would say it's a lot more diverse. Uh, you see more people of color in AFAM, just like I guess naturally. Um, and so, yeah, so I will say that's sort of like the kind of the downside of doing AFAM history at a university like Brown is that I feel like the diversity could definitely be better. Uh, we could definitely have more students of color, specifically in like traditional departments like history and sociology and things like that. Um, 
but the IFAM department I really like because it is a little bit more diverse and we study really interesting things like we look at things in a different way that I typically don't even look at as a historian like we look at like art and things like that so it's been really really good I really like AFAM history and I've learned a lot and I have actually added a lot of readings that we had to do to my like main reading list. I have so much reading that I want to do for the summer because just as a graduate student like the sheer amount of reading that we have to do is a little bit insane like it's actually crazy and so I try to do as much of it as I can and I have things that I know that I will definitely want to refer back to and things that I want to cite in my own work so it's been very generative to actually think about my future topic let's future topic that I want to do which is about race at American universities and thinking about sort of the different frameworks that you can think about that in because like it's not just about the institution but it's also like a sort of social history so, so I decided to come outside because it is 68 degrees today in Providence which is like the first like high 60s days that we've had so far and I just could not resist so I took my computer gonna do some work and submit my assignments outside because it's too nice. second to last class of the semester. Okay, so I'm done with my first and only class of today. I'm about to head back home so that I can walk Harley. But I'm gonna show you guys, it's so cute right now. It's 420 and all of these like undergrads are out on the quad and they have like food trucks and stuff. It's so funny. Honestly, one of the things I love about Brown is how chill it is. Like once the weather like hits like 60, everyone and their mom is outside. And I feel like I have thawed out after this winter. Like if you watch my vlogs, you know that I talked about seasonal depression. And now that it's warm, I'm just like ugh, soaking it up. It's so nice. Everyone was outside. I did work yesterday um, on the green and it was just, it was so nice. So definitely happy that it is officially spring here in Providence. So it is about four o'clock now and I'm not gonna lie, I have a few more things left to do on my to-do list but I genuinely don't feel like doing them. And I don't know, like the semester is winding down, I'm really trying to stick to a routine, really trying to get these last few weeks done the best that I can but I'm like, I do one or two things for the day and I'm like, oh my god, like motivation goes, goes down. So. I don't know the to-do list that i had in mind was i wanted to do peer reviews for my classes because that's part of participating part of our participation grade and i also wanted to start um drafting one of my papers one of my final papers which is due end of may but i figured i might as well get started on it and because none of those things are like super pressing i actually think i might not do them so yeah just to let you know that especially as a phd student i think sometimes productivity is sort of like becomes the dominant conversation and i'm not gonna lie to you guys like sometimes i just don't feel like it and then i don't um obviously that's not always the case sometimes i do have to do the work and if it's a pressing deadline i will get it done but if it's optional and i'm not feeling it then maybe no so we'll see i'll check back in with you guys but the vibe is giving chill for the rest of the day maybe take a nice long walk and start again tomorrow
Okay, so I did indeed decide to come out here and go for a nice walk. I think it's gonna clear my mind a little bit. And then I'm gonna go home, make some dinner, and I'll start tomorrow to start thinking about my final papers and stuff. And I'll probably start a new vlog tomorrow as I start to count down on the last few days as a first year PhD student, which I honestly still cannot wrap my head around. I feel like there's so much I want to talk about. There's so much I want to film about what I've experienced my first year, just lessons I've learned. So definitely look forward to that if you're also going to be entering into a PhD program or if you're already in one, but you're just interested to see what I say. Mm -hmm. 